Hello everyone, welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am explaining the different types of attributes of a file that are supported in POSIX and UNIX. So attributes are nothing but uh, characteristics of a file. For example, when you create a file, uh, right? A uh, file can have a name, right? When you create a file, you have to give a file name. File will have a size. So these are nothing but attributes, right? Uh, these attributes are going uh, is nothing but uh, this nothing but a characteristics of a file right so in this video i'm going to discuss different types of attributes of a file if you are not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to like the video and please don't forget to share the video with your friends to get the notification of my new videos please click the bell icon so let me begin the explanation of different types of file attributes in UNIX and POSIX. So when you create a file, right? So that file can contain different different types of attributes. So what is the first attribute I can consider? Means the file type. So file type specify what type of file it is. When you create a file, you may create a text file, you may create a image file, right? So based on the type of a file, right? Uh, this attribute value will be fixed right next access permission when you create a file you can give different permissions for a file for example read permission write permission execute permission if you give a read permission the file can only be read if you give a write permission the file can be read and and also can be used to write like that so Access permission is one type of attribute. Hard link count. Uh, it will give the number of hard links of the file. So in the coming videos, I will explain hard link in detail. But uh, hard link means a, it is a path, path of a particular file. Right? So same file can have two different paths. It is possible. Same file can have two different paths. So hard link count is nothing but the number of paths for a particular file right i will discuss that in detail in the upcoming videos user id the file owner user id the who is who is the owner of the file that details will be there in this attribute you can see there so when you create the files that file contain this many number of attributes gid means the file group id right uh, as a user I can be assigned to different different groups in UNIX, right? So for each group there will be a separate ID. For each user there will be a separate user ID. So right? So UID will give the user ID, GID will give the group ID of that particular user. So GID is one attribute, right? Next file size, as I told you, file size is also one type of attributes, right? So the file size will be in uh, bytes. Right, I node number, the system I node number of the file. I node number means for every file that is going to be created, I node number is compulsory. I node number is like a address, right? Each and every uh, file related data will be there in the I node record. So I will discuss that uh, I node in detail in the upcoming videos. So far you should know that I node is nothing but the address in simple words. Not only its address, so, so many other data uh, will also be there in the inode, but so far you should mm, think like that, right? So file system ID, the file system ID where the file is stored. So you know that Unix uh, uh, file system, in Unix file system will be in a hierarchical format, right? So for, uh, for that file system, the ID will be there because uh, uh, we have to identify a particular file system using the identification number, right? So, different different uh, files can be there in, uh, can be present in different different file systems. That's why I have to find out uh, my file belongs to which file system. Then I need an ID, right? So, file system ID, last access time, when you have last accessed your file, that is the last access time, last modified time, when you modified, last modified your file that is when you made the last changes to your file that is last modified uh, mod modified uh, time and also la uh, last change time the time the file was last changed 
So these are all the attributes of a file in a Unix and POSIX. Uh, right? Hope you are understanding guys. If you have any doubts, please post your doubts in the comment section. And so when you create, in addition to the above attributes, right? When you create a particular uh, file in Unix, it can also store the major and minor device numbers for each device file. Right? Getting guys? Uh, if you file type, I told you, right? You can create a text file, you can create an image file, or you can create a device file, or you can create a like, regular files. So I discussed different types of file in a Unix file types video, right? Uh, the link is there in the description. If you want, you can see that. So if you create a device file, then the major and minor number will be also there in the attributes, right? For a device file, remember that. Along with all the above attributes are assigned by the kernel to a file when it is created. But when you create a file, the attributes that are constant for any file. Constant means when you create any type of file, these four attributes are right common constant right file type file i node number file system id major and minor device number so when you create a device file major and minor the minor device number is compulsory so other than that file type file i node number file system id are constant this won't uh, miss if you create file this uh, attributes will be there without miss they are like compulsory attributes getting guys hope you understanding if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section right so if you want to change these attributes of the particular file if you want to change the access permission if you want to change the file name it is possible there were there are commands that are supported in unix commands or system calls are there to do the changes for this attributes for example see uh, ch mode unix command system call is also will be of same name only ch mode what it does if you want to change the access permission or a last change time or a uh, right uh, if you want to change that uh, you have to use ch mode unix command if you want to change that attribute values you can do that using a ch mode command Next, ch1, if you want to change the attribute user id, how you can do that means you can do that using a ch1 command. If you want to change the group id, you can change the group id of the particular file using a chgrp. But that is the command you have to use. But system call will be ch1. Don't get confused with the system call and the unix command. Unix command what you are going to type to make the changes system call you can't see system call is purely related to the operating system when you type your particular command that system call will be activated by your operating system don't worry about the system calls unix commands what you are going to use to do the changes next touch uh, touch command system call will be u time why we need uh, unix command touch means to change the last access time to change the modification time right i can use this command touch ln it is a system call will be link if you want to increase the hard link count you can change the attribute using a ln command hard link means if you want to include some extra paths to the same file you can do that ln command will be used to change the hard link count Hard link means I already told you same file can contain different different paths. Same file can be stored in different different paths. One file can contain ten paths. Same file can be uh, can be there in C drive also in D drive also. Paths will be different. So hard links are uh, are two more than one hard link can be there for a particular file. If you want to change that, you can change that using the ln command. Remove. If you want to remove the hard link count, if you want to delete the hard link count, rm command you can use, system call will be unlinked, right? So it decreases the hard link count. And one more thing, if the hard link count is zero, the file will be removed from the file system, obviously. Hard link count is zero means what? If a file is there, at least one path should be there. That means you have to trace the file using one path, right? One path name. 
if if a path name is not there means that that means file is deleted that's why add link count is zero the file will be removed from the file system next vi emac it changes the file size last access time last modification time if you want to change this attributes file size you can use this unique command vi emac getting guys so these are all the attributes right file size file type cl gid uid that are supported in the unix and posix operating system so if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section thank you thank you for watching the video